Hi, I'm Ross with Sky Management, and I have a small toy hauler trailer uh, that I wanted to put a bed lift in. A lot of toy haulers come with uh, bed lifts that push the bed up to the ceiling, or you can lower them down. Um, mine did not have one of those, and I, all I had were these little couches that fold out into somewhat beds, but I wanted to have a regular bed in here. Uh, so I looked into buying one or buying a kit to put one in and the option everybody seems to go with is the Happy Jack lifts, but they're about $2,500 and I thought maybe we could do one a little cheaper. So what I'm going to do is build a bed frame out of angle iron and some square tubing uh, and I'm going to uh, use some one bias for the, the flat part and I'm going to run some the square tubing, some rails on the sides over here so that it'll slide up and down on. And then I've got a couple of these uh, 90 pound struts that I'm gonna use to push the bed up to the ceiling and then probably put some pins in it to hold it up when it's up. Uh, so we're gonna give this a shot and have a little uh, fun project. First thing we need to do is measure our space. I've got about 97 inches side to side and I wanna do about a three foot drop so that it comes down to above where the top of the couches are so I don't have to collapse the couches down in order to lower the bed all the way down. So I need to uh, make three foot sliding rails and there'll be one on each corner. So there's four of those. And then I need to make the platform to, I'm gonna do it a little bit over 90 inches, which will leave me enough space for the rails on the sides. I laid my one bys out on the floor. Uh, I'm gonna be making the frame out of some angle iron I suppose you could probably do this out of a regular just old bed frame and just use an old bed frame in there. But my trailer was wider than a queen bed is long. So I'm, since I'm going 90 inches across, uh, I figured I'd just cut my own out of some angle iron. I'm gonna put uh, another piece on the ends to make a box. Uh, I'm gonna do it with it laid out on the floor like this to try to help keep it square. I have all the joints welded together now, and I decided to add a piece of, I guess it's two inch, just flat sheet down through the middle. I don't know that uh, it's really gonna add much support value, but I thought since I'm gonna paint this part black, that maybe it would add some aesthetics if it didn't support it that much. Uh, now the next step is to grind down all the corners so I don't have any sharp edges. I've got my angle grinder right here. With the frame welded together, I've cut two inch pieces of square tube that I'm, I've positioned where the studs are in the trailer. Mine's on 16 inch centers. You'll need to make sure where your studs are gonna be because you're gonna wanna attach the slides to the studs. Uh, mine's a steel frame, steel frame trailer. So when I attach the slides to the studs, it should be structurally fine. And uh, I'm gonna use a square tube that slides inside these two inch ones to raise the bed up and down. I'm gonna go ahead and weld these to the frame. To make the side slide rails, I'm using a inch and a half piece of square tube that will slide inside of the two inch pieces that I've welded to the bed frame. And to secure it to the wall, I need to make a bracket for that. So I've got a piece of two inch, uh, this is just steel plate, and I've cut a piece of angle that I'm gonna weld to that. And it's two and three quarters inches long because there's three inches of clearance on each side. So I want two and three quarter inch there. And I'm gonna weld that to the end of my square piece, the slide, and then I'll be able to screw this into the studs in the wall of the trailer. And I've opted to run the inch and a half square tube all the way down to the floor and then secure it to the floor instead of securing it into the middle of the wall that'll allow it to, uh, the, when you're laying on the bed, all the weight will be on the floor instead of just hanging from the wall. I, I thought that was a better way to distribute the weight. I 
cut my slides out of the inch and a half square and put them in the sides here so you can kind of see what it looks like coming together. I've got the brackets are going to weld to the top of these slide posts that will secure it into the wall at the top. And then at the bottom, I'm going to weld a square piece of plate. It's an eighth inch plate onto the bottom of these posts so that I can screw it into the floor. So once I get these welded on and the bottom plates on, I'm gonna paint this whole thing black and then I'm going to move it all into the trailer all in one piece. The time has come to move my bed frame into there. So this part's probably gonna be a little bit bulky and awkward, so I'm probably gonna movie magic this part. I was right, that was incredibly awkward and difficult to get in there. So now we're gonna screw in the top up there and there on both sides. And then that should line the posts up where we can screw them in at the bottom. We're attaching the rails into where there's a stud. There's a steel stud running down inside the wall and you can tell because there's where the screws are. So we're gonna pre-drill our hole right here. Then I'm gonna use these self-tapping metal screws. They're uh, like sheet metal roofing screws. Pull this to the wall. Now that we got the top screwed in, I wanna drop the bed down to the height that I want to have it for sleeping. So I've measured off the floor and marked my posts where I need to, to drill it. I'm going to bring it down to just above where the couch is when it's in couch form so that I don't have to stow it away in order to put the bed down. So we'll go ahead and drill those. phase is going to be installing the struts that will help push it up. I think I'm going to have them lift the back end so I'm going to attach into this stud here with against the wall with the bottom end of this and then this will attach into the frame on the back end that way to keep it from binding when I'm lifting it up I can lift from the front side. So I'm going to screw a bracket to the wall back here and the length of this strut is going to allow it to go most of the way up. It's going to actually be pushing down on the bed once it goes all the way down. So to get it started, it might take a little bit of effort, and then it should help push it up to the top. To determine where the hole goes in the frame, you'll lay the strut on the frame even with where it will be on the wall and then go just past where it fully collapsed would be. So for me, it'll be right here. I was having a little bit of difficulty collapsing the strut down to fit. So I used a ratchet strap to compress the strut a little bit so that I could get it in the hole on the other end. It's really hard to push them in without them being attached to anything. I've got the struts installed on both sides and it holds it up there on its own. It is really difficult to slide it up and down because it gets uh, torqued in there and you have to push like one corner at a time to try to get it up there. I'm hoping that once I get the cross boards in here that it'll kind of help keep it from twisting on the way up, but I may have to do something to the slides in order to make them go up straighter. Now to paint one side of these white so that from the bottom it looks like it matches the roof. To hold these one buys onto the frame, I'm going to use an inch and a quarter machine screw with a washer and a nut. And I'm gonna put two on each board on each end and two in the middle.
So my Happy Jack substitute is all finished. Uh, there's a few things that I would do differently. If you've watched the video this far, then you've earned the right to find out what I did that I probably should have done differently. And my biggest mistake was not making uh, these sleeves that slide up and down on my support slides here. These sleeves are attached to this and they're fixed. So when I try to lift it up, it binds up. So if you don't lift it from the middle evenly, then it will get kind of stuck in there sideways. So I may have to go back and cut the welds off here and put a bolt in there or something so that this can pivot a little bit and that'll keep it from, from binding up. Uh, that's the biggest issue that I've had with it. Uh, I can put it up and down myself when it's just me, so it really it's not that big a deal, but it is kind of a, difficult to do. Uh, the other thing that I have changed is I originally wanted the bed to come down this far where this hole is, because it would be just above the top of the couches, but that takes it below where the struts are, and then the strut is pushing down on it, and I thought that would be good to kind of hold it in place, but then, man, it makes it really hard to push it back up. So I've decided to put another bolt through up there, and then it'll just be that high. And the top of the bed is about, oh, four and a half feet up off the floor. So for me, I just step on the couch and then hop up in the bed. So it's, it's not too bad. And it's high enough on the ceiling that I can still sit up on the bed in here without hitting my head. So that's where I'll leave it. And uh, it should be pretty good. I can get it up and down on my own, like I said. So I'm happy with it. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please like and subscribe.